tasked by the Cabinet of uh, the Administration at Telford and Regan Council to oversee the setting up of an independent inquiry into child sexual exploitation in Telford and Regan. So my role has been to work with a number of organisations and agencies and most importantly the, the survivors, the victims and their families to make sure that we've got a truly independent uh, inquiry in place, a fair and transparent process that they're fully involved in and to make sure that we deliver a thorough inquiry. Well, for me, the role has been an eye-opener, to be fair, uh, on a subject that I knew very little about. None of us, of course, are experts, but it has shown me how important it is to have this inquiry and for us as a council to do it in the most open, transparent and correct manner. I think it's very important to have the survivors on board. This inquiry will be about them. It won't be about us as politicians. It won't be about us. It's about them solely. They've waited a long time to get the answers they need and this particular inquiry, we hope, will give them those answers. The independent inquiry will be independent. It will be overseen by an independent commissioning body. It will have an independent chair. It will be the survivors who influence the terms of reference. Councillors and the council and the police and the health services will have no involvement in that at all. Our involvement uh, as current servants, I'm hopeful as past servants, will be to give evidence, to give as much as we know about what's gone on, but as I say, all of that comes together to, to make sure that we've got a set of recommendations that, that we can take, that we can uh, mould into services going forward to make sure we're as equipped as possible to deal with this issue going forward.